Hello, my name is Nuno Figueiredo. I'm a colorectal surgeon working here in Champalimau Foundation. So I would like to use this short video to introduce you some members of our team in the Champalimau colorectal program that are specially dedicated to areas such as radiation oncology, colorectal surgery, and even our program of watch and wait, which is basically non-operative management of rectal cancer. In colorectal cancer, we have a unique opportunity because uh, that is the cancer which, if you tweak the detail, you make the operation better, or you refine the radiotherapy, you get the right drugs when they're needed, and use these things optimally, you cure more people. I mean, we're talking about being able to cure as many as 80-90% of rectal cancer patients and colon cancer patients, provided the cancer hasn't spread when we first see them. So the, the Champalimau protocol that we have specifically for rectal cancer includes many different aspects together to comparing to what, we, what it's done uh, systematically elsewhere. It's moving for, from 3D conformal radiotherapy to uh, modulated PIMS techniques, uh, IMRT or VMAT. This last one is the one we use here. So bringing new technology means decreasing uh, toxicity and means eventually, and this is something that we still need to prove, uh, better results in oncological terms. We're talking about targeting the radiation with the same kind of precision or approaching the same kind of precision that we've been working towards with uh, the surgery just taking exactly the lessons that we learned from, if you like, my lifetime of working on TME, the operation, and applying it to the delivery of surgery. And Oriol Paris uh, uh, spends much longer preparing the precise delivery of each rectal cancer patient's radiation because he has the tools available to do it. So what we've been doing is we're trying to achieve the same goals of removing the cancer but with less trauma or, or less trouble for the patient um, and with more precision we're using not just the eye, we're using optics, not just the hand but the robotic arm. It's still the surgeon doing it but we're being helped by technology with the robot, with imaging, with minimal invasive tools. And it's all with the aim of curing the patient um, with less trauma to the tissues. Classically, surgery has been the most important and the most uh, uh, curative aspect. But when we move to all these protocols of watch and wait and not going straight away to surgery, for all these patients, which nowadays represent an important percentage of patients that we see in this in health institution, they will avoid to have to, to, to go into the surgery room. And of course, for all this subset of patients, radiation has played the, more, the most important role in terms of, uh, of their own treatments. So as a radiation oncologist, exploring the curative role of radiation is very interesting. Using a combination of radiation and chemotherapy or radiation alone is nowadays uh, allowing us to achieve uh, complete clinical responses and avoiding the patients to go for very amputative surgeries and which would definitely condition their quality of life in the future. We aim to tailor the best treatment for each case meaning that in our hands we have the use of radiation oncology, of good oncology and also colorectal surgery. But we make the most of each of these tools. It's early days yet, but we're getting, excitingly, a greater proportion of the patients with superior radiation combined with appropriate chemo, whose cancer disappears altogether. So, what an exciting place to work.